welcome to the Hungaro Ring for the fourth round of the 2018 International GT Open. It's the Lusit Racing Ferrari of Mikel Mack that leads the championship as we hit the halfway point of the season. But the Teo Martin Motorsport pairing of Fran Reda and Andres Ravia are snapping at his heels. This year has been wide open. There's been some great battling through the field. The Hungaro Ring often produces some superb racing. So let's have a look at the very best of the action. Marco Cioc, who led away from pole position as the cars charged down to turn one, the start of the seventh race of the season. Behind Tomon's low Cole, looking for ground, there was plenty of jostling for position. Lots of the battling was very, very tight, as there was contact early on between Guglio Borlenghi and Ollie Wilkinson. Disaster for Damiano Fiorvaranti, clattering into the side of Jerome Mull, unfortunately eliminating both cars. The same thing happened to Alberto Di Folco and Kang Ling. That content eventually forcing both them out of the race. Daniel Karlwitz was on a charge in the Rinaldi Racing Ferrari, moving up ahead of Marco Ciocci. The same could be said for Toby Sauer from 27th on the grid. The Daika Lazarus Lamborghini Huracan driver making good progress. Post pit stops, Daniele Diamato just a little bit over ambitious, and tagging the side of Rick Broikers, rotating them. So it was victory for Daniel Serra and Marco Ciocci from pole position in the Lusic Racing Ferrari. Light for the Ferrari team and for Serra on his return to the championship after a decade away. A good start. Uh, we were still maybe focused a little bit on the rain. <laughs> no, joking. Uh, maybe pressure was not ready for me. I prefer manage because Mercedes was fast, uh, also Lambo. So uh, we knew with Daniel we should make the difference in the second part of the race. So I tried to avoid uh, mistakes and losing time. And then Daniel jumped uh, in the car and made a great job as uh, we hope and we expect, and uh, we did it. So. Daniel, back to the GT Open after 10 years and uh, immediately on top of the ranking. Yeah, I think uh, Marco did an awesome job. The team, we changed completely the car from yesterday. It was, uh, we didn't know what to expect and in the end the car was, was good. We still have to improve a bit for, for tomorrow. It was quite tough. Uh, it was difficult to overtake Mercedes. They have so much power on corner exit. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's, it's uh, really nice to come back with a victory. So look back then, as from pole position it was Alan Gaudet who led the way down towards the first corner. He got a superb start as behind. There was plenty of jostling for position as Rick Broikers was trying to squeeze past the Lusit Racing Ferraris. Behind it was a little bit messy, but fortunately no contact, although Daniel Serra tagged Broikers as they surged downhill. That then bunched up the field behind, for we got the safety car coming out after the coming together between the RC Bratislava Lamborghini and the Terra Marti Motorsport PMW. Unfortunately, Stefano Constantini was caught out by the car slowing, tagged the Olymp Racing Audi and then clattered into the Arco. That prolonged the safety car. We did get going. Daniel Diamato and David Perel tangling with each other as they came through turn eight and both Ferraris feeling some way down the order and out of contention. Bradley Ellis was in the thick of the action as well having a great battle with a spirited performance from Raffaele Giamaria. Meanwhile post pit stops Giatong Liang is right at there, up there and Damiano Fiorvranti had to pick his way past. Ricardo Baptista was also in the thick of the action. Giatong Liang was fighting a superb defensive rear guard action, but that move from Andres Ravia cost Liang the place. But it was victory for Marcello Hahn and Alain Kudair to the light of the Drive X team. Second to Ricardo Agostini and Rick Broikers with Kang Ling and Eduardo Liberati completing the podium. It was a dramatic end to the race. Very, very tense stuff, but delight for the Drive X team. Perfect day, it's been a dream for me, for us. Uh, we've been driving together since 2008, and I think uh, our best victory, the biggest one, uh, it was amazing. 
so happy, so happy in our career. Sometimes, most of the times we lose, but when we win like this, it's worth it. And Marcelo, it was a fantastic second uh, stint, holding and keeping uh, the advantage, everything went well. Yes, uh, this was all the help of Alan and the team to make a good setup and teach me, as I am a gentleman driver, how to do the best uh, track. And I could have made it, and it was a wonderful result. And we are very happy, and for us, it's an unforgettable victory. Uh,